unstoppable. The excitement of Texas Tech men's basketball. KMAX Red Raider Nation presents Countdown to Tip-Off. Probably Morrow's worst shooting maybe ever, but you still have a lot of confidence in him every time he puts the ball up. Oh, absolutely. Morrow's one of the best shooters in college basketball. Shooting never wins your game or loses your game. Back on Countdown to Tip-Off, Davide Moretti struggling in Tuesday's game against Baylor. Just eight points, three of 11 from the field, 0 for 6 from three. Still second on the team in scoring, though. He did score 12 last time in Morgantown as well. All this to say, will he be part of our pick three this week? Take a really overconfident person to do that, am I right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Uh, so, a quick recap. You will... One last week? Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, right. I forgot. You Easy. won. Phil was second. I'm, this is uh, how you know who won or lost. You got to wear the bow tie the next week. If you lost, I lost. That means I get the first pick. And surprisingly, I said, I think we said this in the office, Jemias Ramsey's going to go first overall every single time. Nope, I'm going with Oscar Shibwe. So there we go. First pick off the board, Oscar Shibwe. Who you got, Phil? Yeah, well, uh, thanks for passing Jemias yeah. down to me because you better believe I'm taking him with number two. <laughs> And overconfidence is my middle name. Davide Moretti <laughs> going to shoot out of a slump in Morgantown. Off of that, we'll take one West Virginia player, Miles McBride. He's been really hot. He had 21 against Ohio State. He's had double digits in the two games after that as well. So I'll go with the young freshman. All right, what do you got, Phil? Uh, let's see. I'll go with Derek Culver, the big man we talked about. Should be able to get some work done inside. I think he'll have a nice game. Uh, with a sixth overall pick, I'm, I'm going to go with T.J. Shin, and I guess uh, he kind of scared me with the perimeter defense there. T.J. doesn't shoot many threes. Maybe he can get to the bucket, score some points for me. He scored a lot of po points late for me against Oklahoma State. Uh, then I got the seventh pick. Uh, Emmett Matthews, last year in the Big 12 tournament, he had scored like 28 points against the Red Raiders. We need a little of that magic, so I'm not wearing this bow tie next week. Wow. David Collar actively rooting for West Virginia. <laughs> we'll remember that. Phil, back to you. <laughs> Uh, with my last one, I'll go with someone I had last week as well, Kyler Edwards. And finally, I'll finish it off with the guy one of us should have picked. Yeah. Maybe he wouldn't be wearing a bow tie if he did. He had every chance. Mm -hmm. TJ Holyfield. I'm sure getting some value out of a guy who starts. Uh, I like that a lot. All right, we'll just quickly scroll through the, the results here. Anthony, as uh, I make this one case, you guys make fun of me for going with Sheboy number one and not going with Ramsey. I'm, I'm pretty safe when I say this. I'll probably have the first overall pick numerous times during <laughs> Countdown to Tip Off, so I'll be Plenty okay. Plenty of chances to make up for it. All right, we appreciate it, Phil. And before we go, Ryan Hyatt standing right over there. He's joining us with the final word on today's matchup in the final call. Thanks, David. You know, it's time to cue up the Billy Joel. This one is all about pressure, specifically handling West Virginia pressure there in Morgantown. You know Bob Huggins is going to throw that full court press at Texas Tech. In this matchup, though, I think Texas Tech may have a secret weapon in Clark. He's a tall, big forward who can handle the basketball, see over the defense. I think Texas Tech may have some opportunities to sneak Ramsey up one side, Ready Edwards, maybe Shannon up the other, and get some cheap buckets off that West Virginia press. If they do that, they'll go a long way to having a good day. This game reminds me so much of Texas Tech and Baylor. Very good defense. It's going to be low scoring, and you've got to rebound better. That means you've got to keep West Virginia off the boards. Who do you have to keep off? Their version of Culver. He's very good. And also Oscar, we can't pronounce his last name, but all he does is get a ton of rebounds. If they can handle that, if they can knock down some free throws and shoot it more than 37% from the field, Texas Tech can get a win in a low-scoring game. That said, though, I think West Virginia just a little bit better at home right now. I think it plays out a little bit like Baylor. Our final call this week, David, West Virginia 59, Texas Tech 56. It's Sheboy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sheboy. Okay, so I kind of said in my headline, I think it's going to getting a little bit out of hand for West Virginia. We heard what Ryan said quickly. What do you think? Uh, probably going to lean the same thing as Rhino, unfortunately. Red Raiders going to fall to 1 and 2, but that's why we just talk about the thing. We'll have highlights for you coming up tonight at 6 and 10.